likes to cause problems for folks sometimes. So this is a poem about that. Recently, last year, they're making it more difficult for children of undocumented parents to get birth certificates. So this is a quote from the Department of State Health Services, Chris Van Dyson. You know, when it comes to attaining a birth certificate, we certainly want people to be able to get the documents that they're entitled to. However, we also have a duty to protect the personal information that's on the birth certificate. We want to see a secure form of identification so that we're not giving cert certified copies of birth certificates to someone who shouldn't have one, someone who's not related to a child, someone who doesn't have, you know, a reason to have a birth certificate. <laughs> Texas may not recognize its own birth by its own rules. Once called Mexico, once called Spain, once called the place of many peoples. When we mark a sequence of conquests as erasures, can we believe this parentage? Where is the documentation for that land? Deserts delineated as territory instead of a free moving herd of sands rivers as a blockade instead of a ferry of living souls. Texas is its own country, but these days the Lone Star reminds you of lunch counters and poll taxes and times your grandparents tried to vote but had the registrars ask too many questions. Times when even a whole person could be counted as three-fifths of a non-citizen in this one country. We want to protect your status, not to be protected. We are, some of us, tired of following laws when the laws make it hard to be immunized, hard to be educated, hard to be counted whole, hard to breathe and survive in the body you were born into, in the country you were born into. We are less a country founded on rights than on unequal paperwork. I listened to my father mourn the days when a patient was a patient and not a customer. Someday, whether in front of an HMO or a court or a boss or a border, we will all become papers, drained of horizon, drained of a body, touched as body. Borders, we believe, may change, but documents are permanent, granting immortal stamps after premature deaths. Thank you. That was Ruby Shaw. Next up is Ann Waldman with Fast Speaking Music.